And turning to Afghanistan, I know you're deeply invested as a member of armed services and all that you've done with the military. Uh, the 10th Mountain Division, I think, is deployed there from New York State. So you've got your own constituents right there trying to do this evacuation. What about the fact that it looks likely that, given the Taliban's deadline, that we're going to stop pulling people out of there uh, on or before August 31st? Well, President Biden will address the nation shortly. Uh, and he will give us more guidance on his plans. But uh, our job right now is to make sure we get as many uh, of our, our troops, our allies, our American citizens that have been serving in Afghanistan out uh, to increase the airlift capacity. Um, President Biden has begun to use the civilian aircraft reserve, um, asking regular airlines like Delta Airlines and United Airlines to help. Um, to help transport people in countries outside of Afghanistan that are taking refugees. Uh, he is using every capacity he has. They evacuated about 11,000 people over the weekend. Uh, there's still many tens of thousands more. So our work is very difficult. Um, the men and women who are serving on the ground are fearless, including the 10th Mountain Division. So he has the resources he needs to do this. But it's up to the president whether he wants to extend the deadline. If he feels he needs to, he should. Um, we, at the end of the day, we don't have a regard for what the Taliban wants. We have a regard for what's best for our men and women who are serving, our families who are there, as well as our allies uh, and all of the translators and Afghans who have, Afghanis who have helped us and who have made a difference uh, over the last two decades in Afghanistan. It's very clear now that we're not going to be able to get everyone out who has been targeted, certainly not all of the Afghans who have not qualified for this SIV program. Uh, what about the people being left behind? So this is the question uh, that certainly I've asked in many hearings over the last several months. Uh, we always had two missions, Andrea. Uh, one was the national security mission to make sure that terrorist threat could not emanate from uh, Afghanistan. That's something we've been diligent on and we've done gone great strides in undermining ISIS, uh, ISIS-K, uh, al-Qaeda uh, that were residing in Afghanistan. The second mission was one that developed over the last two decades, first under President Bush, uh, which was to create stability and create democratic institutions, to create a possibility for girls to be educated, for women to have rights. Um, but that was always a secondary mission to our national security mission. President Biden to date has been very clear. He thinks the national security mission is the only priority in Afghanistan. And so if we hope to protect democratic institutions, it would mean we'd have to work with our allies and uh, come up with a different approach that we would do without the troop presence that we've had in the past. Senator, thank you very much. Really appreciate your being with us today.